Hey everyone, it's Stephen Wagner with the Tech Journal at www.stephenwagner.com. I got something really cool to show you today. Windows 11 running on VMware Horizon 8 version 2106. Check this out. So what I've got here is the VMware Horizon client. I've logged into my Horizon home lab server and uh, you'll notice here that I have a desktop pool called DAVDI WS Windows 11. Check this out. We're going to double click on this. And voila, Windows 11 running on VMware Horizon 8 2106. Now this is totally unsupported and this is strictly a proof of concept. I just wanted to show that it is possible. At the moment, uh, I've got this loaded up in my home lab and I have an AMD Fire Pro S7150 X2 3D accelerator card connected to it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go full screen with the uh, VDI client. We'll just wait for this to resize. You'll notice this is pretty snappy. I haven't done any uh, VMware OSOT optimizations, but this is running at uh, 1080p performance here. Uh, inside of the task manager, if we go to uh, the performance tab, you'll see here that I've passed through a GPU, an AMD Fire Pro S7150. It's sitting at a cozy 60 degrees Celsius and uh, it's running quite nicely. And what I'll do here is um, I'll fire up the VMware Horizon performance tracker as well. Now keep in mind that the uh, estimated bandwidth and usage is going to be off because I've got quite a few GPO uh, customizations to enhance the quality of the VDI sessions in my home lab. But for the most part, um, it's it's working pretty good. It's pretty snappy. So we're uh, running H.264, 4x4x4. Uh, we've got audio and everything like that. The uh, window moves, as you can see, flow very, very nicely. Um, jumping into the device manager, You'll see that we have the AMD Fire Pro S7150 driver loaded. Um, now there's a few caveats to this configuration and setup that I briefly wanna go over. Now, when I was setting this up, uh, there was a couple issues. Um, so first and foremost, as most of you are aware, uh, Windows 11 requires TPM 2.0. Uh, in my environment, in my home lab, I'm running ESX 6.5. So I don't even have the option of having a virtualized TPM chip. So there was a workaround that I had to do with that um, and a few other things. So I'm going to start from the beginning here. I'm going to do a more detailed video and post in the future just to provide instructions on how to do this. But I just wanted to do a quick video just to show some of you how to do this if you want to start playing with it um, inside of your own environment. So. Uh, as of right now, the date of this video, the best way to load Windows 11 inside of a virtualized environment for in a home lab setting for testing, this is not for production, is to use the uh, Rufus USB generating tool. Now with Rufus, what you can do is you can download the Windows 11 ISO and you can load it into the Rufus utility and essentially generate a USB key that you can boot off of. Inside of Rufus, they've also set it up and, and developed an option so that you can choose a drop down menu and you can actually disable TPM secure boot and the eight gig of uh, memory requirement to load Windows 11. So you must do this to load it inside of a virtual machine. Um, at that point, what I did is I created a new virtual machine. It has to use uh, an EFI instead of BIOS. Uh, you have to disable secure boot for the Rufus modifications to work. Um, you boot up the VM, you attach the USB key on your computer to that VM so it has access to it. You boot off the USB key, install Windows 11. Uh, and then of course, once that's complete, uh, you shut it down, you remove the USB key, and at this point you can actually turn on secure boot on the VM. So that was the easy part. From that point on, you can install the VMware Horizon agent, uh, you can continue on using it, configure a manual desktop pool, and, and go to your heart's desire to test it. Um, there was something special that I had to do for my specific environment. Um, as you'll notice here, I do have that AMD Fire Pro S7150 graphics uh, MX GPU, and this is where it got a little bit tricky. I noticed that on my first try, if I provisioned the virtual machine, and if I attempted to install the AMD drivers, it actually would cause Windows 11 to blue screen. Um, this is even before Horizon. And then on reboot, I would get a black screen. Now, in previous versions of Windows, Windows 10, if you were to install the AMD Fire Pro drivers, as long as you still had that VMware uh, SVGA or VSGA um, 
actually right here, SVGA 3D, this guy right here, as long as you had that and it was enabled, even with the AMD Fire Pro drivers, it still would work. You'd have console access, um, everything would be good, good to go. But it, it almost looked like the moment that the drivers were loaded, Windows 11 was like, screw it, we're sending all the GPU stuff to the uh, Fire Pro. So got the blank screen and got the BSOD. Now, what I did is I deleted that virtual machine to try a different approach. And so on my second attempt, I installed Windows 11. Then this time, instead of the AMD driver installation, I went straight to installing VMware Horizon. And then at this point, I used a Horizon VDI Blast session to actually install the drivers. And surprise, surprise, it worked. There was no uh, blue screen of death. Um, everything's working great. And actually what I'm going to do here is I'll just go into the demo folder and I'll show you how smooth and crisp this video is. So we'll open this guy up. And so I've got a little YouTube video here. I own this video, so there's no copyright infringement. And you'll notice it's actually very, very smooth. And so this video is running at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And this is just some hiking videos that I made with uh, my Snapchat spectacles. But you'll notice that the the video quality is smooth, it's crisp, it's just like you're using a real desktop. So the thing is, is that Windows 11, um, especially with 3D acceleration, runs very, very nice and smooth. And jumping over to the task manager here, you know, we see that it's running at 61 degrees Celsius, we're using 20% of the GPU. And then of course we've got the uh, VMware Horizon Performance Tracker that's uh, showing that we're using you know 31, 9% of the um, encoding capabilities. Now, one other thing too that I do wanna show you, and again, we always gotta do this just to make sure that we've got full 3D acceleration, is we'll jump into DX Diag, D-I-A-G. And so this should open up in a couple of seconds here. And so this is gonna show us information about the DirectX implementation. So we've got the generic information. We're running Windows 11 Enterprise 64-bit. Uh, it's running on VMware. I've got uh, 16 gigs of RAM and uh, I've allocated four CPU cores to this specific VM. So if we jump over to the display tab, we have direct draw acceleration enabled, direct 3D acceleration enabled, AGP texture acceleration enabled, but unfortunately DirectX 12 Ultimate is disabled. And that's just because I'm using a very, very old GPU. But like I said, this is this is smooth, it's nice. I've got everything turned on. I haven't disabled any of the Windows 11 performance uh, or anything like that. So uh, it works great. I'm really looking forward to making some videos and covering this topic. So anyways, I just wanted to show this video as a proof of concept. I hope you enjoyed it. Home Labbers, get out there, deploy this in your, your own environment and uh, leave a comment and let me know how it goes for you. So thanks everyone. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care.